Hey, what's going on? Too quick for you to come to my next video. Got the SC10 out, Team Associated SC10. Um, getting ready to trade it off. Trading that body with it and this body. Um, give me a minute and you'll see what I trade it for. Alright, and here it is. And here it is. Look at that. Got myself another SEX10. Uh, basically, I add an X to my trade. <laughs> Uh, let me let me get this turned on. Uh, did not come with the radio remote, so I bound it to my spectrum. Uh, this is normally what I cr crawl with. Let me get it turned on. And check check this out. Check this out. Um, there it is. Look at that. You know I got lights turned on here, but I'm sure you can tell those headlights are working, which are pretty cool. And then also got the working tail lights. Uh, the, the hooks are metal, bumpers are metal, the rock slides are metal, front bumper is metal, front hooks metal. Um, look at that, how pretty, how pretty. It's all hot racing aluminum, uh, the links, you can look there, the C hubs and the casters, the rear lockouts as well. All hot racing aluminum. As I believe there's are uh, just axial bead locks, but they are true bead locks, not glue ones. These are flat iron tires. Pretty sweet. I don't know if you notice, got the gas can back here on the body, which is a little added bonus, which is nice. Then check it out. I got the wind, the mirrors, and then. We're not working windshield wipers, but it has windshield wipers, which is pretty cool because you can, you know, play around with them a little, whatever. And then let me get the body off and show you what's under, under the hood. Because this, this is what's what sold me on this. When I got a couple offers for a trade for that uh, SE10, I had it on Craigslist for a trade, and uh, really didn't get nothing too much I was interested in. Um, until this one came around, and then I went ahead and said, oh yeah. So, check this out. Check that out. That's another... Ah, uh, stupid. Camera's not going to focus on that. The yeah, FXR speed controller. Uh, instead of the 35 turn that I had last time, it bumped up to a 45 turn. Uh, no LiPo was included. It's my own LiPo. So, that's where that's at. Um, let's see... The servo is a 645 MG. Nothing too, too special, but it's still a decent servo. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I put in my own receiver, like I said. Uh, these are G made shocks, G made aluminum body with plastic cap, uh, which are really nice. This, this truck actually sees pretty nice. It's four linked front and three linked, no, I'm sorry, it's four linked rear, three linked front. Um, it looks like he added some body weight here in the rear. Uh, the four link post is also metal. Uh, all the links, I believe I might have said, might not have said, I'm not sure. All the links are aluminum. Um, pretty good setup. Pretty good setup. Um, I'm happy with this trade. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll hold on. Oh, I don't know if I hold on to this one. I say, I say that. We'll see if I do or if, or if I get this traded off. Um, I'll, I'll try to get some videos of this running before I do trade it off, if I do trade it off. Um, but yeah, you'll definitely see some, some kind of videos of this thing going. Um, I'm pretty excited to, to get myself another another SDX-10. Um, I, I went up to Tahoe that last weekend and man, I was missing not having a crawler. Uh, yeah, I was. I was kind of kicking myself in the butt for getting rid of the, my crawlers and my scale scalers. Um, but it's pretty cool. Yep, I'm happy. It, it, it's, it's a runner, you know. It's ready to go. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys give this video a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, peace.